like you said, I think more and more people are realizing that college is one route of many routes. We kind of um, ended yesterday's episode talking about college. And I love the story that you told about your husband having gone and it just, it just wasn't for him. And college is for some people, it really is, but it's just not for everybody. And, and I think more people are starting to recognize that college really is overrated for many people. Talk a little bit about that um, and, and what that looks like for a lot of, I mean, you've got, you've graduated. How many did you say you've graduated already? This year will be five. Okay. Maybe we're going into our senior year. So, okay. <laughs> four, four. <laughs> so talk about even with your own experience and with your family, what, what the whole college route has looked like. Well, um, like you said, I think more and more people are realizing that college is one route of many yeah. routes. And, you know, especially now, again, back when, when college was first established, there were not a lot of options for um higher education. So even outside of physically going to college there with the technology we have now and all of the different um, amazing, you know, internet and whatever, there are so many ways to get a higher education or to further continue as you grow as an adult. However, as far as college goes, I just personally think it should be reserved for those few careers where it is necessary. Um, You know, I think a lot of kids think they need to go just for the experience, but we all know that that's not um, always a great experience. Right. Another issue is if you're a Christian, especially, is um, they've become such a, such institutions of indoctrination. There is strong agendas. And so I would encourage parents, we, we don't encourage our kids to go. We keep it as an option if they absolutely need to go. Um, you know, there's so many other things to ways to pursue careers. If if they don't have a specific reason, it saves time, it saves money to just explore any some of these other options. The vocations, like I mentioned earlier, we need to start putting a greater emphasis on that. Um, I'm a huge fan of teaching entrepreneurship to your kids, and and that can be something easily pursued without any college education. Uh, there are just so many options that I hate to see parents become because they, if if you are of the idea that your children need to go to college, they have to go to college. That's what that's what students do. Then that is going to paralyze your um, thinking. It's going to cause unneeded amount of stress, and mm-hmm. so I think we need to really reevaluate your idea if you have that um, if you've held that belief. Right. Yeah. And you're, are you talking about for the parent, it puts so much stress on the parent to have to educate their kids academically in a certain way if they're preparing them for college. Right. So they have to jump through all the hoops. They have to cross all the T's and dot their I. You know, there's just all this pressure. I've had parents say to me, you know, we would love to go the relaxed route, but I'm scared because if we don't do A, B, and C, then maybe they need college and can't get in. But again, when I used the example earlier, I had a daughter that we did not use the really strict formal curriculum and she has done fine. She's done great. And um, it's it's almost, you know, when I say trust the process, I trusted Mm -hmm. the process not really knowing and it turned out to be fine and great. So um, I'd say, you know, listen to other examples or consider that other people have, you know, been able to to go on without the formal rigid curriculum and still do great. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 